Welcome to what should be another fun Friday football focus season. I am Mike Klan. Plenty of storylines this year. That includes Bishop Diego. The Cardinals are in the rough and tumble Marmani League, so they put together a solid non-league season to prepare for it. First up for Bishop, the Regetti Warriors, who were CIF State Division 5 runner-ups last season. Warriors got the ball first, and senior Isaiah Abrigo was a problem for the Cards. Big first down gain into Bishop territory. The misdirection offense by the Warriors marched down the field, 80 yards on 11 plays. Isaiah Abrigo doing most of the damage. He scored from five yards out in Regetti, taking an early 7-0 lead. Bishop quickly righted the ship behind their outstanding running game. This is junior Misa Piahu. He would have scored, but he steps out of bounds. No worries. Karan Gossett finishing the job. So strong, bouncing off defenders. 15 yards for the Cards touchdown to tie the game up at 7. That was the score for one quarter, early second. Bishop D, and it's a tip drill. Gossett has the pick. He takes it to the house. However, a block in the back brought the ball back to the Bishop 47. Next play, the Cardinals score anyway. Misa taking the ball untouched. 53 yards for the touchdown. Great blocking up front by the Cards line, 14-7 Bishop. Next, Cardinals possession, and Karan Gossett is going on a long journey. From his own 12-yard line, he's untouched, and Regetti's not going to catch him. 88-yard touchdown run, 21-7, Bishop leads. Late first half, they're going to the air. Quarterback A.J. Valet finding Brian Trejo Villegas. Touchdown, Bishop. PAT no good. Cardinals run just 10 offensive plays in the first half, but still led 27-7, and they continue to dominate the rest of the way. They win it by the final score of 41 to 9. Next week, Bishop Diego travels all the way to Sacramento to play Capital Christian. Regetti hosts Santa Barbara. Those Santa Barbara Dons with their last go around with head coach JT Stone, who will leave after this season. His ninth at SB, he's relocating his family to Charlotte. Stone says his this team is his most talented bunch. And remember, hey, the Dons played for a CIF title in 2019. SB opening the season against North High School from Torrance. Kai Malt catching great spin move. He takes the ball inside the red zone. Junior Evo Renteria calling his own number. He has the Don's first touchdown of the year. Saxons respond. Trevor Keenan Lagarde with the touchdown strike. But the Don's offense was on point. Renteria has an absolute cannon. Our camera can't even keep up with this bomb. Winston Bartley can, though. He catches it, scores the Don's touchdown. They led 13-7 late first quarter. Second quarter, Renteria, as soon as the defender gets near him, he zips the ball, and Kai Mold has it back in the end zone. Touchdown, Don's. Touchdown. Hey, North trying to keep up. Dylan Williams, the short touchdown run. This figured to be a high-scoring game, and it did not disappoint. SB on the ground, and... Koa Herrera, late first half with a big gain up the middle, 40 yards to the 10-yard line of North. Just before the half, Renteria showing great touch, and on the other end, a terrific grab by Kai Maul. He was spectacular in this one. 28-13 Dons, and they roll 48-19. Dons play their next three games on the road, starting with Regetti next week. Well, San Marcos has a terrific running back and senior Andre McCullough. The Royals played at Morro Bay, and we sent the rooster to the rock. Hey, Mike. Well, just like last year, Morro Bay and San Marcos meeting again in the first game of the season. You may recall the Royals won that one, but it wasn't too bad after that for Morro Bay. They went on to win the Division VI CIF championship and then followed that up with a runner-up finish in the Division VII state championship game, so not too shabby. For San Marcos fans, however, they're excited because, well, they've won two of the last three. Let's see how this one turned out. New Pirates head coach Robert Doherty hoping to start the year off with a win. We pick it up here in the first quarter. Royals driving. Josh Angle handing it off to Andre McAuliffe. He's going to be a star for the Royals this year. He's going to take off and go 41 yards to the house. That run lasted longer than Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian. San Marcos up 7-0. Two minutes later, we counted. Third and like a mile. Angle rolling out, firing deep, finding Adrian Allens in the corner of the end zone there. Make it 13-0 Royals after the missed PAT. First quarter, time winding down. Nicky Johnson handing it off to Nami Hogan. He cannot be stopped. 
He continues to bust past the uh, Royal defense there, picking up a huge first down, about a 20 yard play. Then second quarter, same drive, Nikki Johnson can't find anybody open. And Dory was trying to find Morro Bay. Nikki Johnson was trying to find the end zone, takes it 15 yards to the house. And the Pirates now trail 13 to six after the missed PAT. A little later in the second quarter, Johnson on third and 10, going deep down the field. No flight delays here. This one left on time and landed 30 yards down the field. Nathan Peck with a great catch, and then moments later, Johnson calling his own number and taking it back into the end zone. The two-point conversion was no good. Morro Bay would trail 13 to 12 at the half. In the second half, though, it was all San Marcos as they get the win, 35 to 18. All right, well, that's gonna wrap up this first week of football. Can't wait for next week. Morro Bay, they're gonna be on the road next week, taking on Carpinteria. San Marcos, they're also gonna be on the road again. They will be playing at Santa Maria. In Morro Bay tonight, Kevin Roos for Friday Football Focus. Mike, sending it back to you, my friend. All right, Kevin, good win for San Marcos. Hey, a thriller in Burbank. Those Pueblos played the Bulldogs fourth quarter. David Busso, short touchdown run. Now with a second left tie game at 19. It is a 46-yard field goal attempt by DP's Greg Tiriapathy. And it's good. What a stud he is. What a start for the season for those Pueblos. They're all charged up. Those Pueblos wins 22 to 19. Up next, stops at Napomo and San Ynez, plus the St. Joseph Knights. We're looking for a good night, stick and stay. That action on the way.